All right, welcome back to the channel. Today is a little bit different video. Normally I do live looping Boss RC 600 performances at all my gigs, every single gig. Today's just a little gear repair video for anybody that has the Evolve 50, the EV50 or the EV30, which I do. The wheels wear out. Um, maybe if you're gigging once or twice a month, they'll last a long time, but if you gig a lot, they you probably have had problems with this, these bags. I've had Evolve, they've, Evolve has already sent me a, a replacement bag, but I decided to take the broken bag, the broken wheels and the kind of lousy bag and do a little experimentation with it. And what I've, I found was, it comes with these little tiny one inch wheels and they, they, they pop on the curbs all the time and they just make it really hard to wheel it around. It comes with caster wheels. I put caster wheels on it again, which are the kind that spin around, kind of like a spinner luggage. So I bought these ones, there's a link in the description. These are uh, three inch caster wheels. I got the, the kind of the widest ones I could get with some nice grip, basically like an all-terrain caster wheel, kind of the best ones I could find. The problem is, um, Dirt and grime kind of gets in the ball bearings, and they also they're they're kind of constantly just getting getting uh, banged around and tweaked, so they do break. Okay, so you've bought the wheels, and um, there's a link in the description. These are the three inch caster wheels. So let's see let's see how we put them on. You basically one handed here. You undo this. You unzip this, and now you get down to this plastic. So what happens is with all the, with all this gear, the companies they 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 go to China or wherever and they design the case, the 3D case, so that it fits perfectly. But then when they make the case, they cheap out on everything else. They use the, they use the cheapest wheels. They they just use they 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 cheap out everywhere. They use the cheapest wheels, cheapest handles, cheapest fabric, every cheapest stitching, everything everything they do, they cut corners. They cut corners on everything. So, which is fine if, if, you only, if you're only using the bag a couple times a month, it'll last, a few, it'll last several years. And that's, so 90% of people don't really care. But um, this video is for people uh, like me that are gigging five, six nights a week and they use these things constantly and they get tons of abuse and use. And I go through gear, anything that they cheap out on breaks. So I'm gonna try to do some uh, things on this channel where I, repair some gear so you got so they they use hard plastic down here and they they um riveted they used rivets to put these in so you have to drill you have to use a drill a quarter inch drill and drill out the rivets they come out pretty easily to get the old wheels off and then you use your quarter inch drill and you make a new hole i used one of the old holes made it a little wider and then i had to make new holes here see those are the old holes so you have to make new holes for it because it, it has a bigger plate, see? It's not the same size plate because the wheels are bigger. And then here's the, here's the exact things to hold them in, which you need, is, which you need are what's called T-nuts because it's plastic. These things bite into the plastic and you need a half inch bolt. See that? So that it only sticks up just a little tiny bit. And then this, you, bear, you don't feel it at all once it comes, once it comes through. It's, that's, that's right where it is. And you don't feel it at all because it'll it'll mar up the speaker if it sticks up too much. I bought the wrong size bolts first, and they were sticking way high up. I had to go back to the hardware store three times, <laughs> so that's why I made this video. So that hopefully you only have to go to the hardware store one time to do this job. So I'll show you the things you need. There's all the things you don't need to buy, <laughs> and here's the things you do need to buy. It is they are called T nuts. This is what I bought. They are one quarter. I'm gonna so you can see better. One quarter, let it focus, come on, focus. One quarter by uh, 20 by 5 sixteenths. So these are, these are the, 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 I should have saved one so you could see what it looks like, but you, that's what it looks like. It, it has, it has these, um, these little teeth on them. So they sink into, they bite into the plastic and they, they give you a nut to screw, to put your bolt into, to put your bolt on. Cause that's my name, Matt Bolton. But um, okay. Um, my family has a long history of putting bolts on products. Anyways, uh, this is so you got oh T nuts, yeah. So T nuts, 
uh, use T-nuts and make sure you get half inch. Don't get one and a quarter. Don't get one. See, here's the three trips to the hardware store. Idiot. <laughs> There's, so those are the three different, those are the three different, these are the two sizes you don't want. This was my first thought. And then I said, oh, it's too long. So I got this a little bit shorter, but still too long. There we go. So we have the half inch quarter coarse thread. And then that's what you want right there. Boom. So you need, you need 16 of these. These are like two bucks a pack. Come in four packs. You need 16 T-nuts and you need 16 bolts. That's it. Not these ones. These ones. You want it to be half, one, a half inch long. That's all that matters. And you and also, here's another thing. You can't use a washer. So make sure it has a nice, it's a nice hex, uh, has a nice flange, your hex bolt. But a nor, uh, just a normal hex bolt will work. Because if you use a washer, I, which I did, I learned the hard way, because obviously one of my trips to the hardware store, I bought washers. It lifts up the hex bolt too much. And then this thing bangs into it. The caster bangs into it. So it's metal, it's, you know, it's metal on metal, it's fine. You just use the hex, hex bolt into the, into the hole of the caster wheel. And there you go. So now you've got, you've got four brand new wheels on your Evolve 50 bag, which they could have done the first time in the factory, but they, they don't care. They don't use good wheels. And dirt and grime get in there. I'm probably going to have to re um, replace these eventually. But now that I've got the T-nuts in there, and they're not riveted in. It's just easy. It's just, you just, you just quick take this out. The T-nuts stuck in, in the plastic and you just throw on new wheels. Same, hopefully the same size pattern um, of the bolts and you're good to go. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's in there. All right, we've got them in there. You can see they, they use lousy zippers. I mean, it's an okay zipper. They use an EV zipper. It's not, let's see, is it a YKK? No, it's not. So there's only one, there's the, the best zipper company in the world, it's called YKK. They're very expensive. So look on your clothing and stuff, see if you can find YKK zippers. So these are just like, they put e, uh, EV on them. I think YKK always have to have the YKK in little tiny writing. Pretty sure these are not YKK zippers. So they're low quality zippers. You can see it gets stuck and the fabric is all getting through here. Everything falls apart when you use it a lot, you know, because it has to come around this corner and then like you see how the fabric is all like, so you got to kind of be careful zipper, zipping it. I don't even go around the bottom corner because the corner gets so dinged up just from usage. See that? So I just go, I just go right to there. I don't even zipper the bottom. You're good to go.